Hello po, magandang magandang araw po sa inyong lahat Ito po yung, ito po yung ang inyong MyMath TV na tumutulong sa mga estudyante natin Now, ang topic po natin ngayon, ang episode po natin ngayon is The Sum and Product of Fruits of Quadratic Equation So, titingnan natin ang the relationship between coefficients ng ating standard form of quadratic equation and the roots of the quadratic equation. Sa sum of the roots, meron tayong x1 plus x2 that is equal to the negative b over a. For the product of roots, you have x1 x times x2 equals c over a. Now, paano nga ba i-derive natin ang sum and product of roots of quadratic equation? Okay, paano nga ba? Ito pa yung derivation. Kung naaalala nyo po ang, ang ating quadratic formula. Ano po yung quadratic formula? X is equal to negative B plus minus square root of B squared minus 4AC over 2A. Merong dalawang roots yan. Si X1, that is equal to negative B plus minus square root of B squared minus 4AC over 2A. Tsaka yung isa, X sub 2 is equal to negative b minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So, may dalawang roots tayo dyan. So, the sum of roots. I-derive natin niya. Okay. Yung sum of roots, i-add lang natin yung dalawang roots. x1 plus x2. That is equal to two roots. That's negative b plus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a plus negative b minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, tingnan natin, they have the same denominator, so pwede nating i-combine na lahat yung nasa numerator. Combine natin, that will be negative b plus the square root of b squared minus 4ac and minus b minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So, mayayari dyan, since the same ang square root of b squared minus 4ac, maka-cancel out yan. Ang naiwan dyan is negative b minus b all over 2a. So, negative 2b over 2a. Now, since negative 2 over 2 is equal to negative 1, kakancel din yan. So, ang may iiwan dyan sa ating formula is negative b over a. So, the sum of roots natin, that's x1 plus x2, is equal to negative b over a. For the product of roots, i-multiply lang natin yung dalawang product, dalawang roots, x1 times x2. That is equal to negative b plus ne square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a times negative b minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. I-recall natin yung the product um, of the sum and difference. Product of the sum and difference, that's x plus y times x minus y is equal to x squared minus y, y squared. So, titignan lang natin yung sa formula. Yang i-consider natin na value of x is yung si negative b. At sa ano naman, sa y, is the square root of b squared minus 4ac. Tapos, ang result niyan, that will be the x squared minus y squared. We have a negative, a b squared minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac quantity squared all over quantity 2a squared. So, maka-cancel yan ang ano dyan. Uh, yung square root sign saka yung squared so may e1 is b squared minus the quantity b squared minus 4ac all over 4a squared so i-remove natin yung parenthesis that will be b squared minus b squared plus 4ac galing yan sa ano, a negative times negative 4ac that will be positive 4ac all over 4 4a a squared so may e1 dyan since na-cancel na natin yung b squared is si 4ac over 4a squared so Pwede natin ma-cancel si 4a at saka si may may iwan dyan sa, ano, sa 4a squared. So, i-cancel natin yung isa sa ilalim. So, mayayari dyan. Cancel 4a and 4a. May iwan ang a sa ilalim. So, the, the product of fruits is c over a. So, the product of fruits, x1 times x2 is equal to c over a. Yan. Yan yung mga shortcuts natin. Okay, so, meron tayong example. So, find the sum and product of the roots of the following quadratic equation. The first one is w squared plus 2w minus 8 equals 0. To identify the values of a, b, and c, a here is 1, 
B is 2 and C is negative 8. Now for the sum of the roots, you have our formula x1 plus x2 is equal to negative b over a. Is a substitute lang natin yung value ni b at saka ni a. By the way, yung a, b, at c ay yung mga coefficients ng ating quadratic equations. So, substitute natin. That will be x1 plus x2 is equal to yung value ni b which is 2 over 1. So, may negative tayo sa formula. That will be negative 2 over 1. Tapos, negative 2 divided by 1, that is negative 2. Now, for product of roots, we have x1 times x2 is, is equal to c over a. Substitute natin yung value ni c, negative 8 divided by 1. So, negative 8 divided by 1 is negative 8. Summarize natin, sum of the roots is x1 plus x2 is equal to negative 2. Yung product of the roots is x1 times x2 is equal to negative 8. So, paano natin each check yan? So, tingnan lang natin si negative 8 since uh, si w, w squared plus 2w minus 8 is equal to 0 is factorable. So, pwede natin i-check sa ganitong paraan. Factors of negative 8, titingnan natin. So, una, negative 8 and 1. So, since that is a negative 8, isa dyan is negative. Ang isa dyan is positive. So, and we are going to check the sum of negative 8 and 1. Ang result niyan ay negative 7. So, hindi tama. Think po tayo ng ano, another factors of negative 8. So, pangalawang factors. Factors dyan ay negative 4 and 2. Tama po ba? Take the sum of that negative 4 and 2. That will be equal to negative 2. So, tama po yung sum of the roots. Okay? So, may uh, factors na tayo of negative 8. So, yan yung mga roots natin. Okay? So, ang x sub 1 natin is negative 4. And x sub 2 natin is equal to 2. So, i-check natin kung tama ba. So, x1 plus x2, substitute the values. Negative 4 plus 2 is equal to negative 2. And for the product of roots, x1 times x2, negative 4 times 2 equals negative 8. So, tama po yung sum and product of roots na. So, another example. Find the sum and product of roots of 2y squared minus 7y minus 4 equals 0. So, identify natin yung values ni ABC. A here is 2, B is negative 7, and C is negative 4. And for the sum of the roots, we use the formula. Negative B over A. Substitute natin yung values ni, ni B at saka A. And that's negative of negative 7 over 2. Okay, take note ha. Naka parenthesis po yan si negative 7. To emphasize the value of negative b. So negative times negative 7, that will be positive 7 over 2. So for the product of roots, x1 times x2 equals c over a. So substitute natin na yung values, negative 4 divided by 2. That will be negative 4 divided by 2. That will be negative 2. Okay. So, summarize natin. Sum of the roots, 7 over 2. Product of the roots, negative 2. For checking, so since hindi naman ito factorable, so we will use the completing by square method. So, ito yan. 2y squared minus 7 minus y. Ganito yung pag-complete the square. Uh, divide natin by the value of a. Tapos, um, we will get the one half of the value of uh, B. So, one half, then square it. That will be 49 over 16. So, add natin to both sides. 49 over 16. Tapos, yung other side na, that contains a square, uh, pwede natin i-form of uh, square of binomial. So, that will be y minus 7 over 4 squared. That is equal to the sum of 2 plus 14 over 16, that's 81 over 16. Then after that, we'll take the square root of both sides. So cancel yung square root natin sa kabila. That's y minus 7 over 4 equals positive negative 9 over 4. That's square root of 81 is 9. Uh, square root of 16 is 4. So our final, uh, here we have y is equal to uh, plus minus 9 over 4 plus 7 over 4. Same denominator. 
Okay, so for y1, 9 over 4 plus 7 over 4, that will be 16 over 4. 16 divided by 4 equals 4. And for y sub 2, okay, for the values of y sub 2, we have negative 9 over 4 plus 7 over 4. That will be negative 2 over 4. So, and, and negative 2 over 4 is negative 1 half. Okay, so... Okay, so for checking, we have the sum of the roots x1 plus x2 is equal to 7 over 2. And product of roots x1 times x2 it is equal to negative 2. Okay, so that's all.